Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I wanted to do the 2020 Indigathon book tag. The Indigathon book tag is part of the Indigathon which is happening this month and is hosted by Brody and Michelle. I will link all of the information down below as well as the questions to this tag. The first question is your favorite native authored book. And I have quite a few. I mean, Alatsawe, The Only Good Indians, Mapping the Interior, Apple. But I think the one that I want to choose is Black Sun because that one slapped me in the face. It definitely has to be my favorite book of 2020 so far. And honestly, it will probably be my favorite book of 2020 since we are almost done with 2020. This book follows three characters that are extremely well fleshed out. They all are working towards something and in some ways they're actually all outcast, which I think is really important to this story. I think it's important that they are outcasts because it is a driving factor in the way that they interact with the people around them. The writing is impeccable. The characters are amazing and I cared about all of them even if I didn't care about all of them in the very beginning. I really really cared about them by the end and I thought that the plot was constantly moving forward. It was fast-paced and I read this book very quickly and the moment that it ended I wanted to reread it. The second question is which indigenous book do you find yourself recommending the most? And I could obviously say Black Sun, but actually one that I've been recommending a lot recently is either Apple or A History of My Brief Body. This short story collection is a collection that explores loving yourself despite colonial violence. It explores being indigenous, being queer, and kind of how you navigate the world as an indigenous person on land that has been stolen from you. If you are an audiobook listener, as I am, you might really enjoy the fact that the author actually narrates the audiobook himself. I know I personally did, and I think it made the story that much greater, so I highly recommend. And on top of it all, I am not a short story collection person, per se. I don't really love short story collections. I somehow never finish them. So it's one of the few short story collections I have actually finished. And I really think that's a testament to the content, but also just the narrative voice in this. Question number three is what is an indigenous book that you've picked up because of somebody else's recommendation? And honestly, this list is very long. So I'm going to talk about the most recent ones. Alatsawe, Moon of the Crusted Snow, Winter Counts, anything Stephen Graham Jones, basically anything by Louise Erdrich and The Marrow Thieves. So in saying that and answering this question, I also realized that a lot of these books um, are a combination of read and I, ones I haven't read, but I have purchased them based off of recommendations and plan to get to them soon. <laughs> question number four is what is the most recent book that you have read by a native author? And currently I'm in the middle of two books by native authors. One is There There and the other one is Trail of Lightning. I'm really enjoying both of them and I hope that I'll finish them by the end of the month. Question number five is what is the next book that you plan on reading by a native author? And if Trail of Lightning goes as planned, I hope to read the second one in that series which I believe is called The Storm Locusts. And I really want to get to The Marrow Thieves. I have not picked that book up but it is the one that has been intriguing me the most currently. And question number six is, are there any 2020 releases by native authors that you want to get to? I've been really desperately wanting to get to The Night Watchman by Louise Eldritch because I don't know what about this story intrigues me so much. I think it's because the story is technically based off of true events that her grandfather went through and she fictionalized it. I believe it's um, considered historical fiction. Every time I see it, I just immediately want to pick it up. And also The Roundhouse by Louise Eldridge too is another one that I have on my list. I actually talked about it in a haul recently. I also want to get to This Town Sleeps. Empire of Wild and Winter Counts. I really hope to get to those four at least in 2021. They are on the top of my TBR list. 
so hopefully I can get to those ones. So that was the quick and fun Indigathon book tag. I hope that you guys participate in it. And please remember all of the information about the readathon, about the creators, Brody and Michelle, their social media, the original videos, the questions, everything is down below. Please check them out, subscribe. They're really awesome. I love watching them. I've watched them before I was even on booktube. I hope you found some new books that you're interested in and I will see you guys next time. Bye!